things first, I need to start grabbing guitars. When it comes to loading the van, Michael's a bit over the top. David, you're gonna be doing drums. No, I need you on guitar. Also, we need the drum kit. We need pedal boards. Make sure you get pedal boards. Are you serious? Are you seriously being serious right now? Hey, do you guys have the drum hardware? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I need that to go right here. Stop. Yeah, give me that. I need that right now. All right, give me one here. Hey, anybody seen Biff? I wouldn't call myself a drill master or dictator. Yeah, give me that. I need that right now. I love gear. I like to think of every piece of gear as one of my children. You never want to see a child get hurt. I mean, that breaks my heart. Be careful with that one, though. Yeah. Black Beauty, one of my bases, I mean, it has been passed down in my family from generation to generation. Great Grandfather Powers gave me that. Yeah, I need that to go right here. Don't forget the astronaut suit. What on earth are you saying, Michael? It's not rocket science, it's calculus. We are Mission 6, a band of guys that have been together since the 5th grade. Now that we've graduated high school, we're ready to hit the road and take you with us. Our mission is to ignite a generation to receive and shine the light of Christ. You will see firsthand the opportunities and the challenges that we face as we live life on the road. Eight years since we've started this band, and finally it's our time to break through the darkness of this world and shine the light of Christ. We are City Lights. My name is Isaac Alling, but the guys know me as Biff. I don't get to go out on the road very much, but when I do, I plan to enjoy it. Yeah, no one really knows why we call him Biff, but I think it probably has to do with laziness and overeating. The guys in the band, they lack a real appreciation for the keyboard. They don't even know what that thing can do. I bet they didn't even pack it. This doesn't leave this room. Why? Biff. 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 Gosh. Biff. You can't have anything nice in this world. Biff. Feels good to be graduated, hitting the road. Indiana baby, we love her, but we're ready to get out of the cornfield.
the guys picked me up and apparently Biff had some idea for a food challenge. Back when the band started, we would test our manhood with crazy food challenges and the best one was the brain sandwich. Oh baby, oh baby. That's a brain. Oh, oh, look yeah. at that. Mm. Oh that's just go. Dude, just go. Dude, I, oh. yeah. Michael's like, oh dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. Yeah. Yeah. Finally getting back on the road, it's only right that we do it again to kick it off. Oh no, this is not happening again. I'm having flashbacks. I can't do it. I I, I can't take it. Don't it's a brain. I mean, come on. Think about it. I tense up just thinking about it. I've been sitting on the sidelines for too long. Coach, put me in the game. This is a terrible idea. And I mean terrible. All right, guys, we've landed here at the Hilltop Inn, world's manliest restaurant. We got some memories here. Last time we only ate one sandwich. We shared it all together. But this time we're men, so we're going to eat one sandwich a piece. I'm not a man. One brain. <laughs> Each of us will intake a brain today. Yes. See how we do. This is Ben. David was not looking good. He's looking green. I've already thrown up once this morning. I think I'm gonna throw up again. <laughs> All right, it's this. 90 degrees right now, it's, uh, and we are about to eat some brains. Yeah, Let's use our brains here. You like what I did there? Yeah, it was pretty good. But seriously, I mean, this is ridiculous. We're about to eat a brain. Look, these guys are psychos. There's no way I can eat this thing. Don't tell them I said that, though. These guys need to open up their minds a little bit. They're looking at it all wrong. You need a little romance in life. It's like but a first date. You go into it with an open mind. Underneath this buff body is a beautifully sensitive creature. You can't be going into it being like, oh, this is going to be terrible. Yeah. You but have to have an open there's mind. There's something wrong when you can smell it from a mile away. We this is like a date that hasn't bathed in five years. Yeah, seriously. Biff doesn't understand anything about the real world. He lives in the world of Biff, held together by grease and food. In Lucas's health food world, he's still trying to figure out that we're eating a brain. All right, so just so I know, we're, we're eating a brain yes. today? Okay. Yes. Um, I personally try and stay away from greasy food, but a brain, uh, on the other hand, that doesn't sound too bad. This sounds like it could contain a lot of protein. All right. Oh, oh here we oh, go. Oh, wow, those, those, are, those are big. Oh, my. Wow. Those are the last time. Give me some help. I'm offering you some more water. Ah, thank you. That's great. I'm just thinking, what do we get ourselves into here? This is going to be a long challenge. I'm not sure if it's occurred to the guys yet, but we're about to eat a pig's brain. All right, we got we get pork brains, pig brains. Now we used to have cow brains. We used to make beef brains, yeah. but because of the mad cow thing, they oh, put a ban on all those. That's okay. smart. <sighs> it's a pig's brain. That's good. Well, what about the swine flu? To clean them, you have to yeah, you have to take off all the membrane. Yeah. There, sometimes there's a little bit of skull in there. Yeah. Oh my! You gotta take all that out. I don't do that part because my hands are way too big. <laughs> we got some people back here with small hands. That can do it. What is this? Santa's Workshop Brain Edition? I mean, he's got elves back there. It, I, when it's raw, it kind of reminds me of strawberry ice cream. That's what it kind of looks like. That is sick and wrong. Are they frozen or they just come uh, fresh? They come, fr they come in frozen. Oh, and, frozen. And, okay. I mean, they're fresh. Frozen yeah. fresh. Yeah, they're yeah, frozen fresh. fresh right on the corner. But, uh, this guy's talking on and on and on, and I'm just thinking, yes. We put it into a batter, yeah, and we get an iron skillet. Yeah, fill that full up, full of grease. Yeah, grease. When you start the skillet, you put cold grease in there first. You don't want to put it into a hot skillet. Oh, okay. It'll cook, it'll cook cold, too fast, cold yeah. and the grease? brains won't get done. Cold grease? Yeah, you start with cold grease. Oh, okay. Huh. I'm beginning to find a common theme with this brain sandwich, and it's grease. 
little splash grease on top of that. Oh, kinda, oh that's when you flip it. Bathed in grease. Cold grease, hot grease, lukewarm grease, grease on grease, grease on grease on grease, too much grease. You know, sometimes the outside will get down before the center and it'll be all gooey inside. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is this legal? The process for making a brain is intricate. The brain sandwich is a delicacy, and the guys don't respect that. Uh, so do you eat them? Do you like them? No, I don't eat brain sandwiches. No. Have you ever had one? Never had one. The cooks never had one? Really? Is yeah. there a reason? Because you... um, it's a brain sandwich, it's that's a... why. The cook has never had one. This is insanity. There is a reason why the cook has never had one. Cold grease, fried grease, splash grease, grease grease. This isn't grease, grease lightning. <laughs> 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 this is not a joke, Lucas. Oh, oh my. They're gonna oh. be big. I don't think you're looking at that. Oh my gosh. The cook brought out a picture of the brains we were about to eat in the skillet. The audacity of some people. When the cook brought out those brains, I'm gonna be completely honest. I, I soiled my linens. Here, cheers. Thank you, man. Man, how big this is. Oh my. I'm eating the infamous brain sandwich. Oh my. Do it. Just, just dive. It's like, it. it's like jumping off the high dive. You just gotta go. You just gotta go. Don't hesitate. There's your water. Oh. Don't take mine. There's yours. Enjoy it. It's good. It's just chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. Don't worry me. <laughs> I can't do it. Challenge failed. What happens is I take a bite and then I pull it off and it pulls all these little jiggly chunks off with it. Weak. Mentally weak. I just can't eat that. It's Don't sick. It. That's the beauty. It's a brain. It's, it's the brain really of a pig. pig. It came out of a pig's head. Are you insane? What I'm eating is fantastic. Do you guys know if that is a skull or if that is a vein? Oh my gosh, that's sick! Biff's Speed Theorem. Think fast, run fast, eat fast. Keys to victory. That's so wrong. Why'd you but put it's like ketchup You're on eating it? a pig as if you were a pig. It's fine. As of today, pigs fly in my mouth and to my belly and out the other end. Yeah! Let us fly. Oh. Challenge complete. Eating is my passion, but as for Michael, not so much. Oh, uh. oh my god. Come on, use your manners. Oh, you're a sissy oh. girl. Sissy little girl. Enjoy that. Oh, oh. oh. That. The human body is not supposed to take that kind of abuse. Hey, oh. He's gonna blow! He's oh. gonna... <laughs> Newton's first law of motion. When one object applies a force to another object, you have friction. Sick. <coughs> oh. Oh. Projectile! Oh, not a mine. Projectile! Oh. <laughs> Did I throw up? Yes. It's because my body does not accept contaminants. Man, that thing looks like a right now. Challenge failed. Seeing Michael throw up his sandwich on the ground made my brain sandwich look awful. But you know what? It's now or never. Challenge failed. All right, so almost done with my sandwich. Not a big deal. I don't know why these guys are sissies. It's just a little sandwich. It's just a brain. What's the big deal? We all have one. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Sick and wrong. Complete challenge? Check. Michael's man card upchucking with the sandwich? Check. Lucas? He's the only other man in this bunch. All right, guys, here we go. Last bite. A little mustard on top of that. And... 
Challenge complete. Well done. Welcome. This was a pretty easy challenge. Sweet, sweet victory. With the side of medulla oblongata. I'll take this defeat. These guys are going to be the losers later. I will gladly throw in the towel on this challenge. After the challenge, we're finally back on the road. Yeah, our stomachs are hurting a little bit, but you know what? That's not going to stop the amazing trip that we're about to have. This van is my long lost home. That sweet putrid smell of BO, my favorite ketchup stain, the egg drop soup rotting on the carpet. It is so amazing. Is that smoke? Whoa, 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 whoa. The van is smoking. The van is smoking! What's happening? Is this really happening? Are we on punk? Oh, oh man, that's bad. Nobody needs to freak out. These are the times when my vast knowledge of vehicles comes in handy. Come on, stop, careful, stop. Careful, careful. No, let me take a look. Michael thinks he knows everything there is to know about the world we live in, but he doesn't. Trust me. <laughs> okay, it looks like the alternator is going bad because the carburetor has too what? much brake fluid. So what are we going to do about, about it now? Yes, you, I guess I, look, I know man. everything about now cars. Now is not the time for your smart talk. That's why you can't go low on brake fluid. Everybody knows that. There's nothing I can do without brake fluid. fluid. I can you check your back. With Everything's going so well. I just won Ban versus Food. David is demoralized. This can't be happening. Strap up your hiking boots. Let's get to walking. Well, and what, if we don't have service, we got to walk. Walk? No. What else are we going to do? Are you insane? Are we going to stay here? Ride. Biff doesn't walk. I'm going to walk in these sandals. In these I'll sandals. See you guys All right, have fun with that. We'll see I'm you gonna later. I'm going to save the day. See you later. He's done for. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait it out. That's all we can do, really. Yeah, I just keep hoping and praying that someone will drive by. All we need is brake fluid. It'll solve all of our problems. I mean, as soon as we get brake fluid, man, I'll fix the alternator. It's, I just, this is this is the engine. This has nothing to do with the brakes. Yes, it does, man. The brakes, the carbonator, the alternator, they're all in there. The carbonator, dude. That's, that's not even a car part. <sighs> all right, Lord. What's going on here? I guess we're just going to have to wait this one out. You have to wait it out. I'm stunned right now. You know, we're straight out of the middle of nowhere, and I just figure maybe I should chew on some straw. I saw a guy do it on TV once. This is not easy, but I think Biff's taking it the hardest. I have no cell service. It's burning hot outside. I'm sweating my tooth off. I mean, could this get any worse? You know, God's always provided for us in the past, and he's not gonna stop now. So I'm gonna keep walking. I'm gonna have some faith. Why today? I'm at the breaking point right now. This was my chance. Why? Thy word is a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. You are the light of the world. A city on a hilltop cannot be hidden. Have you ever felt stuck? Maybe like you're in the middle of nowhere? And you know, if you could get out, maybe things would start to happen and doors would start to open. You know, you know, it's easy for me to think like that at times just because I always want to get out and go and do. And I want the doors to be open. But when I have to stay right where I'm at, it's tough. And you know, it's difficult to live life with a good attitude when you're staying put where you're at. But you want to talk about being in the middle of nowhere? You look at the life of the Apostle Paul and how he was serving the Lord with his whole heart and he found himself in the middle of prison. He 
see him writing some of the greatest books of the Bible. And the crazy part was he was in the middle of jail. He was stuck in a terrible circumstance, held by chains to a prison guard. You see, it comes down to what choices he made. Paul came to a point where he had to make a choice. He came to a crossroads where it's like he, he could either let his circumstance define him or he could define his circumstance. In Acts chapter 16, we see Paul make this choice. He began to worship God. The moment that he did that, the chains were broken, the doors were open, and he was free. And what's even more crazy is that he chose to stay there. He could have left, he, it was done. But he chose to finish the work that started in him. He chose to work through that prison, through that time of nothing. You know what's awesome is that the prison guard received Christ. Him and his family were saved from that moment. And then we see Paul leaving a message to us in the book of Philippians. Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless children of God, without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you will shine like lights in the world. That's a perfect picture of what it means to be a city light. I mean, it's not based off a circumstance. It's not based off a hilltop experience. It's based off making the most of what God has given us. We see in Philippians 4.13 him say, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. And you know, that's what it means to be a city light. It's not our own light that we're projecting to the world. It's the light of Christ working in us and allowing us to do all things through him. So Paul left us with this choice. I choose to make the most out of whatever comes my way in this life. Finally, we see a sign of hope. Hey, can you help us out? Our car broke down. What happened? I don't know. We don't really know too much about it. Smoke started going everywhere. We don't have cell phone service. We've been stranded out here for what hours. What are city boys doing out here in the country? I have so much gratitude for this guy. I mean, he came to help us out, but I already know what the issue is. I know how to fix the van. I just need water and brake fluid. See what the problem is? See, it was smoking right here. I don't the know fan belt broke. What is he talking about? There is no fan belt. We have air conditioning. We don't need a fan. What's, what's a fan what's belt? What's a fan belt? It cools the engine. Your radiator overheated. What's that? You're stuck. I feel bad for this guy. I'm going to play along with him so he thinks he knows what he's talking about. Jump in the back. I'll give you a ride to town. I don't know what's going on, but we're saved. Who cares? Jump in the back. The back? This one just pulled out. No, jump in the back. The back? I'm smelling horse fecal matter back there. I don't want to get back there. Hey, I see you got those uh, horses. I know a little thing about horses. Uh, is that an Appaloosa? It's an Appaloosa. That right there, that's an Appaloosa. The forefathers of my family breeded those horses. <laughs> We're saved. It's all good. I mean, yeah, I may be in the back of Ricky's truck here, but who cares? We're going home. It feels great to finally be heading home, but then I started to think, where's Lucas? After miles of walking, none of the cars stopped to help me. All of a sudden, I see some guy walking in the distance, and I figure that's got to be Lucas. Hey, oh my gosh, Lucas! Stop up here! Stop it up! Finally, they found me, but at least this was a pretty good workout. We got hop it, in, man! Hop in! Get in! Hop in! Oh. Dude, where have you been? I've been walking the whole time. Oh my gosh, man. It's crazy to think that something like this would bring us together, but I've never seen us get along so well. Is that a horse? Yeah, yeah, yeah you two. Got... Oh my god. And it looks like the van's not gonna get fixed for another day. Oh no. Yeah, we're not gonna make yeah, it. Yeah, we're out. stuck. Let's go. 
Hey, you guys look like you are a little thirsty. Yeah. I've got some water here for you if you'd uh, like a jug. <laughs> is that purified? No, it's right out of the creek. The creek? Out of the creek. Did your horses drink that? No, no, no. I was so thirsty and I, I still had brain taste in my mouth. You know what, a little bit of dirt water, I mean, sounds great. Okay. I'm gonna pass on that. All right, thank thanks you, appreciate it. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate you have a good one. All righty, we'll see you later. All see right, ya. Thank you. You know, it's funny that I'm actually saying this, but I am grateful that everything happened today because at the end of the day, man, we needed to be here in our own town. It turns out that there was a kids event going on at our church tonight. Before, we weren't gonna be able to be a part of it, but now we actually can. Maybe this wasn't such a bad thing after all. It was a bummer we didn't get to go on the road, but God always has better plans for us. Even though we may not understand why things happen to us or why we're put in specific places, if we ultimately pursue God with our life, we're going to be in the right place because we're going to be with Him and that's exactly where He wants us to be. You know, it's really crazy how if you're just seeking the Lord that no matter what bad happens to you, it turns out for the good. And indeed, we have learned in this band over the years that through the testing, through the trials, that something great is born. Music is our passion, but it really means nothing if we're doing it just for ourselves. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. And that's what we want to spread to people, that light and that life that Jesus offers. No matter where we're at, we're going to follow him and be his city lights. We hope that you've enjoyed watching City Lights and hopefully you've got a taste of what it's like to be on the road. But you know what? The journey doesn't end here. We want to come to your city. So to find out how to do that, visit us at mission6.org. On there you'll find pictures, videos, music, and everything you need to bring us to your town. So until next time, remember that you are the light to your city and together we make City Lights.